Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. Um, I've been working a lot this week, so I'm kind of uh, a little bit tired. But I just wanted to kind of satisfy, satisfy a little bit of a bloom addiction I have. Um, I just love the way the cells pop up and it's like little presents opening up before you and you don't know what colors, what is involved underneath until they pop open. So that's part of the addiction that I have to the whole technique and trying to figure out how the paints uh, work, how the cell activator works, you know, all trying to figure all of that out and making sure that um, everything turns out great. So without further ado, I'm going to, I guess I'll go over the colors with you with each one, okay? So first, let me get some um, white pillow down. This is Glidden Premium Semi Gloss with a little bit of water to help it flow. So I'm not using it, even though I'm using it straight out the can, can I did add some water to it to kind of help it with the flow. Now, so that I don't lose a lot of my design, I'm gonna give it a little bit of spin. To spin some of that color to the edge and then maybe just a little bit more in the center. That's it. All right, so that's how I kind of try to keep the design here so it doesn't spill uh, blow over. So we're gonna give a background of orange. This is just ba a basic tangerine orange. I like that orange color, so I'm gonna put plenty of that on there. Followed by Juicy Pear from Color Art. Then Passion from Color Art, the Bright Blooms collection. A little bright, bright bloom set. This is passion. I love this color. This will be followed by Pineapple Crush. Um, Carmen. I like to lay my colors on loosely so all, so multicolored cells can come up. And Nebula Star. These little drops on the edge, I don't worry too much about them. Look at how all those colors go together. I love that. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to do a white cell activator first, followed by a black cell activator, and then we'll blow it out with the blow dryer. So let me kind of tilt that back to the center a little bit. Okay. White cell activator, followed by black. This should give me a nice uh, bit of um, cells that has a nice white edge to it. to collect in the middle. Wow, these cells here are some beauties. So I hope they don't go anywhere. Yeah, a little bit of a puff to bring out some cells there. Just to break the surface a little bit. 
to bring up some cells. All right. I'm liking the way this look already. Give us some uh, wrecking on the edges. On some of these areas that don't really have many cells. Bring it up. Pull this. I like to lift up as I'm twirling because it kind of pulls that color up to the surface. Like so. So it pulls that pillow up and you have these nice white light curls there as you see and then this little area here this got a very nice effect to it especially with the um, passion and that little green from the juicy pear yeah i like that all right so now let's spin this out slowly and see what we can keep or what we can save wasn't as slow as i expected but Look at the coverage on that. Let me try that one more time. I don't want to spin that too much. I think I'm going to be done with this. I know it's not going to crack. I had already pre-spun it as it is. So yeah, I'm not going. To, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. But sometimes when I mess with it too much. I mess with what I have in the surface here, but right now I still got my patterns on here and all these colors. So let me get you guys down for a closer look in a second. Okay, guys, this is how it looks closer. Let me switch my lighting a little bit because I got a glare. Okay, that's better. So now look at all those nice cells got white lacing you got the dark lacing from the black cell activator in there the modifications look at all those nice beautiful cells i am very pleased with this look at that violet in there with the um turquoise from the nebula star that's um, like, it's almost like a dark turquoise. And then this white cell activator is blowing through that. But, you know, you have your black cell activator that kind of like gives it a uh, space in between. And this little area right here, got the black cell activator that give us some nice lacing there. But overall, look at the way all those cells reached all the way to the edge and it did not get distorted because i spun it pretty slow but i'm very happy with this one so thank you for watching this is sheldon from shell rock art and have a very safe and pleasant evening or day wherever you are in the world and happy pouring good night